Hi, I'm Sarah, a New York City YouTuber, and today I am guest vlogging on EF's channel to show you where to get that perfect Instagrammable photo. As an Instagrammer myself, I'm always looking to get that perfect shot, and so today I'm gonna show you where you need to go, the tips to get that iconic shot, and what photography you need to use. So let's just get into it. Number one, we're gonna start with the tips, okay? Anytime you're trying to get that perfect Instagram photo, shoot during golden hour. Now golden hour is a photography term used to describe when the light is absolutely perfect. You get that beautiful golden light. This happens during sunset and sunrise. Number two, now wherever you're going to take your photo, and I'm going to show you the top five places, in my opinion, to take it, you should choose a color that will pop against that background. So if the background is predominantly white, maybe wear red or green or blue. If the background is brick, red isn't the best color choice there. So choose a color that works best for the particular scene that you will be shooting the photo in. And number three, though it is great to have that perfect camera, that very expensive photographer camera, you really don't need it. Today, you can just use your phone. The phone has an amazing camera. I generally use Snapseed and Facetune to edit my photos if I take them on the phone, and it works really well. All right, let's get into the best locations for Instagram photos in New York. There are a lot of them, so it was very hard to choose. Now I have a whole video on my YouTube channel about even more locations. So if you wanna go over there and watch it, it will give you more ideas. All of the places I'm going to mention will be linked below in this blog post to show you exactly where they are. And you can just bring that map with you and it will make it way easier to capture these photos. Number one, Grand Central. If you're coming on the train from the EF campus in Terrytown, this will be your first stop in the city. And conveniently, this is also an amazing Instagram photo location. Grand Central is an icon of New York, and I recommend if you want to get that perfect shot here, it tends to be very crowded, so what you need to do is you can go up on the stairs of where the Apple Store is and capture the shot overlooking the whole station, or if you're able to schedule your photo shoot uh, till the evening, you're actually going to have the best photo options here. Grand Central is really busy, especially in the morning and during rush hour. So you're going to want to plan your visit to Grand Central, ideally uh, if you can arrange it to be after 10 p.m. Now I know you're probably thinking, that's crazy, Sarah, why would I schedule a photo shoot then? Well, if you really want that perfect shot, that's what time you have to go to Grand Central and that way you get less people. One thing to keep in mind in Grand Central, do not bring a tripod, they will kick you out. I've learned the hard way, don't make the mistake, just have a friend capture that photo for you. Number two, Dumbo. Dumbo Brooklyn is hands down my favorite location to shoot. There's two locations in particular that you should focus on. Number one is Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach overlooks the Manhattan skyline and the Brooklyn Bridge. And if you can get there at sunrise, it is so stunning. The colors will blow you away. I recommend wearing yellow um, or something that really pops here because the city is kind of gray and so bringing in a bright color that pops will make this photo stunningly gorgeous. Another wonderful spot here is Washington Street. Now Washington Street has that iconic view of the Manhattan Bridge. You need to get here early as well um, because everyone comes here for a photo. I think besides Times Square, this is probably the spot that more people come than anywhere else to get that perfect Instagram shot. If you have a camera that has low lighting capabilities, you can actually come here at night and there's almost no one here at all. And if you can capture all the beautiful light that the city brings in with a low lighting camera, um, the photo looks phenomenal at night as well. Number three, Central Park. Central Park is the most filmed location on Earth. More movies have been shot in Central Park than any other location in the world. Can you believe it? Well, it's no wonder that many people want to come here to get their photo taken. Now, there's many spots here. Uh, there's Belvedere Castle. There's several rocks that you can sit on. It's very difficult to explain to you how to get to these locations and where they are. Um, so I have a map link below that will show you exactly where they are. 
And the great thing about Central Park is that it's not as crowded as the other locations I've mentioned because it's much larger and so people spread out and so you don't actually need to go there early in the morning. You can go there midday and still get that perfect shot. Now the Flatiron Building is another classic New York building and this is a great shot to get that New York City bustling vibe. So what I recommend wearing is something very street style here if you can. Uh, one of the things I always try to capture when I'm shooting on the street is if there's a taxi passing by, capturing that taxi cab. So kind of looking out for that moment and being careful of course, you're not going to step in front of a taxi cab. but Position yourself so that you capture that the building and the taxi cab crossing at that exact moment. And sometimes this takes a little patience. You have to wait for the moment to happen exactly right. But that's what photography is all about. It's just take as many photos as you can and uh, the more options you have the better. And number five, the Brooklyn Bridge. What would the Manhattan skyline look like without the Brooklyn Bridge? It just wouldn't be complete. The bridge has been there since 1883 and it's been a photo spot ever since photography existed, honestly. Now to get that perfect shot at the Brooklyn Bridge, you have to arrive early. And I know you hate me for saying arrive early, arrive early, but that's part of getting that perfect Instagram shot. I wouldn't recommend getting there later than 8 a.m. because it gets very crowded, especially in the summer. If you are here during spring, summer, or fall, make sure you get there even earlier than 8 a.m. to get that shot. It's not very colorful. So wearing a color that pops here like red, blue, yellow really looks beautiful. But the one thing you got to look out for are bikers as you're taking these photos. They can get very annoyed at you if you're standing in the way. So just be aware of that as you're taking your shot. So those are my top Instagram photo locations in New York. Now for even more information on visiting this wonderful city, visit my channel linked below. Have an amazing time in New York and thank you for watching. Bye.